Hello, you guys. We are at the Owens Dry Lake Bed, which mostly dried up around 1913. And today we're going to just take a look. It's really bright out here. It's only about 10 a.m., but the sand is so white that I'm not sure I can do this whole video without sunglasses. But uh, I wanted to come out here and take a look. Maybe we'll make another stop on this so the whole video is not just from right here. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the Owens Dry Lake Bed. So the Owens dry lake bed was a full lake up until 1913 when they started draining the lake and sending the water to Los Angeles to help with the growing population there. Obviously they needed water and eventually I think it was uh, 1923 or 26 when the lake was completely dried up but it caused a problem because of the dust so when the lake dried up it became like a salt salt land like uh you know the dry lake beds it's very high in salt and the dust created such a huge problem that it actually created health problems for up to 50,000 people were seriously uh their health was seriously affected by the dust. So that's why you now see little bits of water here and there in the lake. There's different, there's different channels or different squares where there's water and that's to help with the dust. The water comes from the snow melt in the Eastern Sierras. We've got the Sierras behind us and Mount Whitney. So that's just really interesting how that's come along. But just imagine Owens Lake, how big it was. It said it went all the way into Independence at one point in time, obviously before it was a city. So it was a pretty substantial lake. And the sign over there did say that the lake would actually dry up and fill up throughout time. Like in you know bc time so that's just really interesting also so it's not just humans that dry up the lake it's the climate change and all that so it's just really interesting it's kind of cool to be able to walk out here and walk through a portion that used to be underwater and the ground i'll show you what the ground is like it's weird. Where we were when I started the video, it was like sand dunes, which is really, really cool. But now it's like uh, crystallized rocks and it's like, it's kind of sticky. I'll show you right now. So it's like, I guess it's kind of hard to tell on video. It's like everything is just like, like you can even see 
all the dust like that's coming off on my hands. It's a very salty type. Like that's all shiny. All right, so I'm gonna try to get some drone footage. I'm gonna have to walk backwards. Can't look in the sun. I'm gonna get some drone footage and show you guys part of the lake. Oh my god, the gnats are coming out. For someone who loves nature, I am not very good with insects. Not at all. And the flies are, the flies are so bad actually. Driving through Death Valley the other day, my car just filled with flies like the moment, the moment I would get out of the car or get back in or anything. So we are going to launch the drone and start heading back. Maybe we'll check out some of the dunes. Who knows? I think this uh, ground is hurting Bruce's paws, so. I did want to go further, but uh, it's not fair to him. All right, let's get the drone going. So behind me is something really interesting. They're putting water into the lake, I'm guessing, through the, the sprinkler system. So that's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Well, it got hotter out, so I shed some layers and we're playing in the sand. It's actually kind of hard on the top and then it, it breaks and it gets soft. But Bruce is having a good time running around. It makes me almost feel like I'm at the beach, which I could totally go for a beach trip. Maybe I'll take a trip to the central coast soon. My favorite, some of my favorite beaches are the central coast of California. They're just so quiet and peaceful. But this is actually quiet and peaceful too. We just don't have the water. Well, there is water. There is water. It's just a little different. But 
Look at this a backdrop. It is beautiful. See, it's all hard and below that is soft. The sand is very coarse. It's not fine at all. Maybe that's why it's so hard. It's actually not like beach sand. It's very big. Well, I've got to move on to the next adventure. I hope that you enjoyed this little history lesson of Owen's dry, not so dry lake bed. And I will see you guys in the next adventure. Bye.